This is I've Got Scars, baby. So basically, a person comes to you, they're looking for some tea, like, child, my stomach been hurting me. What tea you have over there, that darling? You know, they asking you that. And then you look at them and you're like, so what's been going on? Right. Well, well <laughs> and then they say, well, this thing over here happened and that happened and my car stopped and then this other thing has stopped and this the other thing happened and then, the, and then they, they go into all of that. And that's when you... That's you when I tell them that Mercury must be in retrograde. <laughs> <laughs> so, but that for people who are like, you know, for people who just think that the physical ailments we experience are just physical. Yeah. You would not well, necessarily. First, agree. I would. I would identify um, the fact that we're going to deal with the mind, body, and spirit, right? So, you know, a lot of times people don't realize what the difference between the three are. And that's important because ultimately there is no difference. Mm -hmm. It's all one, mind, body, spirit, right? Mm -hmm. So when we're talking with the client, we're identifying through the words that they're using what they're connecting it to. If they're connecting these things to mind or body, or spirit, and then showing them how to create it as one holistic thing. So if somebody comes to me with a um, headache, for example, mm -hmm. I know for sure that it's not their head that needs to be treated, right? So mm -hmm. we're not going to get a scalpel and we're not going to just, you know, Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> so we start to get to the core of things. Now, as an herbalist and a naturopath, I know that usually a headache is because of what's going on in the colon or because the body is dehydrated, right? Mm. So then we start to talk about how what they're actually putting into their bodies and how much they're releasing from their bodies, right? Mm. And then after we start to go through those aspects of things, we can tell, oh, you may be drinking a lot of water, but your body is stopped up. Why? Oh, you're stressed out about what? Oh, did you realize that that list of things that you just gave me have nothing to do with you? So now you're holding on to other people's issues. Mm -hmm. Oh, so now we have to get rid of the issues that no longer belong to you and then start to identify who you are as a person. And that's the, you know, part of the healing. That's where the healing comes in at, because when you don't know who you are as a person, you definitely don't know who you are as a healer, even if you know what your gifts are, because you can't use them properly if you got all of this clutter in a way.